Dare we? This is Dark Comet, and welcome to my channel. I hope everybody's having a great and tremendous day out there so far. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. This is going to be episode number 63 of Bax Adventures in Ancient Egypt. Man, the story's getting pretty awesome now, as you guys can see as we follow the main storyline. In last episode, we saw Bayek have an epic battle with uh, Flavius, the lion, who was the leader of the Order Ancients in Egypt. And there he had to fight. Flavius was using ancient powers from the sacred orb. He was using all kinds of light sources and bringing up people from the dead to fight his ghost. That was an awesome battle. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And Bike finally defeated him and crossed his name off the list. In this episode, we're going to see a man at the tomb of Batos um, in Cyrene ask for Bayek's help. He's going to help investigate the desecration of the tomb. And then Bayek's going to discover that the Romans were responsible for that. He's going to go take out the Romans who stole the sacred relics from the tomb and return them back to Ectios, the man at the tomb. So we're also going to see a man named Smithos, the mouse, ask for Bayek's help to recover goods that were stolen from him by the Romans. And then Bayek's going to assault the Cyrene barracks and return the goods back to the mouse. And then he's going to help the mouse again, um, who was taken prisoner by the Romans for a murder that he did not commit. Bayek's going to help investigate who was responsible for that murder and then take care of them at the Roman bathhouse. And then we're going to also see Bayek explore the secrets of the tomb of Nomad and find the hidden treasures buried deep within the crypts. We're going to also see Bayek travel to the Goatfish Stone Circle to discover one of the constellations in honor of his son. And then over to the Apis Stone Circle to also find that constellation of Apis. So we're almost done with the Stone Circles here. We should finish that up here in a few episodes from now, um, hopefully. And we'll find the Great Sphinx, which has that secret hidden chamber underneath, and see what that unfolds as we find the last of the stone circles so hope you guys enjoy the rest of this tale and i look forward to sharing with you and let's get busy There is nothing to be gained from unrest. Zeus will protect our founder. Philakitai, please. Are you a protector? If you have a moment, the fate of our founder is at stake. I am not a Philakitai. I am a Medjai. Oh, yes, of course. I should have noticed. These people don't understand. Our Roman friends do not take kindly to civil disobedience. Why are they protesting? They fear all is not well with our founder, the great Batos. The centurion locked his tomb. Some say he desecrated the dead in there, left a scrawled note on the door and sauntered back to the Acropolis. Please, someone should investigate without alerting the Romans. And if that someone were to find anything, they could meet me here and I'd be happy to help. The Greeks also treat their dead with great honor. And now, they suffer like Egyptians.
Empty. Drunk and stupid is a troublesome combination. The founder must have been buried with these treasures. The relics are gone. The bow and medallion are gone. The Romans are little more than tomb robbers. The Greeks are learning what it feels like to be Egyptian. Have your land, your dead, and your relics desecrated by an invading force. The tomb's been ransacked. The Romans were looking for something. Have the Romans no respect for the dead? Tyrion, a man in Best not to draw attention here. Bartos medallion. <clears throat> the priest will be glad to see the relics returned.
Your suspicions were well founded. The Romans took Bato's treasure. You have their relics? I do. They were not given the respect they were due. Those filthy desecrators. I will keep Bato's medallion safe. Legend says if it leaves the city, so will our fortunes. And Dibo? It longs to be in the service of Sarinaica again. Please, keep it. And maybe teach the Romans a lesson in honoring the dead. Huh. Gladly. The Founder sent you to us. Farewell, Magi. Get many Egyptians in Cyrene. You'll get no judgment from the mouse, but you did stick out. The mouse? An odd title, my friend. Yes, yes, I am the mouse because I can access the more hard to find trinkets. If you follow me to my shop, I'll show you. Our bows, blades, scepters. You won't be disappointed. The mouse guarantees it. Sir. Bayek. All right. Let's see what you have, mouse. Don't you have trouble with the Romans? Well, you know what they say about our Latin friends? The Greeks invented the threesome, and the Romans added women. <laughs> Besides, I know how to stay hidden, Sir Bayek. With the way I look, I have to. People think the mouse is unlucky. They don't... That's him! The mouse! Dirty scum! No, no, no! The soldiers have found my shop! The century wants a war. Oh, cursed mouse! Woeful mouse! They took it! They took everything, Sir Bayek! The Roman swine must have taken my chest to the barracks. Please, will you recover it? And why would I do that? Because you know what it's like to be brushed aside, victimized by those who hold themselves above you. The mouse will die on the streets with no living to support him. And what of the children? Will no one think of the children? And I could probably spare a fine reward for my savior. I would not want the children on my conscience. God bless you, Sir Bayek. I will wait for you in the market behind the paths. Good luck, my friend. Servat onus descendus, incumbite! Ah, 
this area is off limits. Auxilium! Aduiva! <coughs> Siste! Non muovere!
Etik, hok módo! Et lo prohíbe! No le te ibe! Mouse is stash. Alinte Ivi! Huh? Ubi Ami? Fante! Mora! Πάνικα τη εσουβλακία. Λαμπρό τη ψυχή είστε και ευδορμία σου που δεν πού ποτέ επελανθάνομαι. Ευχαρίνε, ευχαρίνε. We are still. Oh, this far away. Now let's see if he. Θεή της Δοκίνη, Ποσειδόν. Χαίρε! Το 
θυρίο λεμένιμσε. Είτε, είτε. Ah, Bayek, did you find my check? You have saved my life for a second time, Sir Bayek. I am blessed, blessed by the gods who brought you to me on this, the greatest of days. The mouse will embrace you as a sign of my undying gratitude. Ah, uh, please don't. Then money, I will shower you with riches to make Chris's jealous. Take care of yourself, mouse. Try not to get caught in any more traps, eh? Ah, such grace, such wit. You deserve more than mere money. Come see me again later. I will find you something special from my stash. Είναι αποθανήν, πολέμο χρήξαστε. Ού ένθα δε. Φωνήν ξένη μου υγιής στήπτες γυπνίες οδούς προσήρχετο. Άκουσαν. Βαϊέκ! Μαους. They are going to kill me! Shut up! You're convicted of murder! Γιατί μη θείς επιλαμβάνεται. Γιατί μη θείς... Μου σκέφτεται, γιατί φωνά σκούσει, γιατί η χαύρα, ο πανικός, ο πανικός Ολύμπη, απέρχομαι, απέρχομαι... Μόριας παρασκευάσματα του ήταν εστίν. Ω, thank you, Sir Bayern. Get me out of this bloody cage. I'm hurt. They accused me of murder. Me, I value life above all. Of course you do. Don't worry, you are safe now. Thank you, Sir Bayek. There is a real murderer out there. He's killing my friends. Slow down and tell me what happened, Mouse. I was at the bathhouse, meeting some associates, and suddenly a legion accosted me. Didn't you plead your innocence? They wouldn't listen! They accused me of killing Paulus Aurelius, the moneylender, gutted like a pig. Red hair in his fist, not my hair. I met with him, yes, but when I left the baths, he was very much alive, drinking and whoring as usual. I am many things, but not a killer! It is all right, Mouse. I believe you. But the Romans will not believe a cripple and an Egyptian. Have faith. Stay low and wait for me at the gardens of the Temple of Zeus. There may still be clues to the real killer at the bathhouse. <laughs> I know Smintos is not the murderer, but I must discover who is. The Romans have closed off the baths. I should look for another way in. Ma 
Κανέναν γαντάραξαν. Τι πράττει. So this is where he was murdered. Red hair, but it is horse hair. Maybe from a wig. That is why Smintos was falsely accused. This strigil has blood on it. Could be the murder weapon. Scattering of beads. Someone broke their necklace. Did Paulus Aurelia struggle with a woman? The body has been moved. I need to find it. A pin from a dress. Could the murderer be a woman? The stench of death, and something else, perfume. What will you tell me, Paulus Aurelius? Something is stuffed down his throat, a knot. Hmm. I will cleanse Cyrene of the hedonists. My next tragedy will strike down Cyrene's greatest actor, Metrobius. 
And it is signed... Vesta. 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 What is your problem with pleasure seekers? I need to find this actor before this murderer strikes again. Thanos would be appalled if an actor were to die. Why is Vesta targeting these men? Would she be a prostitute killing off her clients? I need to get rid of that lion before I can confirm my suspicions. But I think that is Vesta's second victim. Yes! Poor Egyptian beast. Vesta must have released him to distract us from our handiwork. Metrobius, the murderer's second victim. There's not much left of him. Another note. Metrobius took his final bow. Only the horror remains, and he will die at the wolf's den. This Vesta has a flair for the dramatic. The horror's wolf's den must be the local brothel. <clears throat> My instincts were right. Vesta's a prostitute. But she's looking for her father. I only hope I find him before she does. I'm too late. A 
another note. This must be the horror. Father, you die. You will be quiet now, mother. By the gods, this Vesta is insane. That's it, mother. It's all finished. And I will join you and father soon. I cannot stop. And I will not live without her. Why did you kill them all? I have tasted darkness too, but you are mad. You cannot understand what it is to be born into flames. To be born a piece of dust. I am ash. Hmm? <laughs> hmm. Whoa. Vesta was not a prostitute, but the forgotten son of one. I hope the Duat figures you out. I should return to Smintos. Bayek, did you find the killer? Yes, the son of a prostitute. When his mother died, terrible grief overtook him. He believed a car would not let him rest until he found his father. He's dead? I am sorry, Mouse. He could not be reasoned with. I have his letters. The story they tell is a tragic one. Poor boy. Such sadness. What will you do? Won't the Romans be searching for you? I have a plan. A new life in Apollonia, where you can taste the sea it is so close. Find me there if you can, Sir Bayek. Good luck, Mouse.
ancient writing from the old kingdom. Hey, have you talked to this girl you like? I didn't say I liked her. We were friends, but she's being strange and avoiding me. Maybe because she likes you too. We often do not say what we mean. It will come to you in bursts. Why would she avoid me if she likes me? This is something your mother should explain. I am better with the stars. The god fish. Called Capricornus by the Greeks. The god has the head of a ram and the body of a fish. You see? Even the gods do not always make sense. Papo, what is best in life? To seek justice and truth. 
to live with honor, to protect the weak and the poor, and to love your mother. My friend Kenan said it was to crush our enemies and to hear the lamentations of their women. We are Magi, son, not barbarians. Epis, the bull god. He is the strength of the pharaoh. Each year, he is born as a calf with special markings. The pharaoh finds this calf and worships it. That's going to do it for today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing it for you. It's so much fun playing Assassin's Creed Origins again, and it's such an exciting tale, and I look forward to seeing how it all plays out. Make sure you hit that like button, because it really helps out my channel a lot, and hit that subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure you hit click that notification bell, so you'll be notified of future episodes of Assassin's Creed Origins and anything else that I do on this channel. I look forward to sharing Bayek's adventures with you as he seeks revenge on all those who helped kill his son and corrupt his homeland of ancient Egypt. We'll also look at the ancient mysteries of Egypt, including the Great Pyramids and the Tombs of the Pharaohs, and all those big, lush, sandy deserts and oasis areas. We're going to also see how Bayek forms the Assassin Brotherhood and the Hidden Ones, which is such an exciting tale. I look forward to sharing that with you as well. So take care, guys. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you in the next Dark Comet adventures.